Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I am Sergeant Wimbush of the 3rd Infantry Regiment, United States Army, Commander of the Relief, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in Arlington National Cemetery is absolutely one of the most important public monuments in the United States. And it is uh, certainly the most important war memorial in our nation. Uh, it's critical that the authentic memorial, the original stone, be preserved. I'm Robert Neweg. I am the director of the Southern Field Office at the National Trust for Historic Preservation. You know, the public has always cared about and loved the Tomb of the Unknowns at Arlington National Cemetery from the time that it was commissioned and installed in the 1930s. This was a place where veterans, millions of veterans and their families have gone to pay respects. The process of, of preservation um, would retain the original, would protect the authentic memorial into the future. It has aged, it has cracked, and it's that character, that historic character of the stone that we can and should preserve for future generations. If we lose that original stone, we lose the connection to the families and the veterans who installed it. Heart. Heart. I'm Colonel Tori Brzees, the Arlington National Cemetery Engineer. This is important uh, because we had some work done on the Tomb of the Unknown and within the last year the work that was done and the fill that was used uh, wasn't the proper chemical mixture and didn't hold the way that we would have hoped it would have in order to uh, completely seal the crack so that no further moisture or no further cracking would happen. So now uh, we've brought back uh, the contractor as well as we've invited a host of experts to help us do this the right way. And it's important that we do it during the month of September uh, because it provides us the right temperatures in terms of the weather and in terms of the marble temperature itself. So this is the nation's uh, uh, gravesite and the, the vision for it is for us to preserve it as long as we can in the original state that it is in. We want to get into a habit of maintaining what we've been entrusted with, not just getting to the point of, of the catastrophic failure before we do something. And that's the mindset that we're changing here, is that we've got to keep things on a maintenance schedule, and that includes the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. There is a crack that runs uh, through, and actually two cracks that run through the main sculpted stone of the tomb and uh, they need to be filled so that water and bugs and dirt don't get into them. Uh, my name is Amy Hollis and I'm the conservator for Worcester Eisenbrandt. I am the superintendent on site for the works. The previous repair done in spring of 2010 um, failed within a few months. Uh, it started to powder and fall out and there were some technical problems with the mix and how it cured in the stone. So we're going back with a new formula. There's a binder component and an aggregate component to the fill in the crack. And the binder consists of lime and Portland cement. And that's essentially the glue that holds the repair together. The aggregate is the crushed marble that we're using in the crack that is going to simulate the face of the stone and also keep the repair from shrinking and falling out. Using, using a crushed marble aggregate is going to act like the stone that's already there and you're going to be able to see it. The light will play off of it a lot like the, the stone that, that's there. This stone actually is in really good shape except for the crack. This particular crack is kind of an anomaly in the stone and it's not known exactly how this crack came about but there's a theory that it's from shocks during quarrying or transportation or sculpting or something like that. One challenge is that it's outside. It's not like an object that you can bring inside and treat in the shop or in the lab. Um, you've got to work with the elements and uh, we are working at night 
because, uh, because of the visitor experience during the day at Arlington Cemetery. Um, so that brings in some difficulties in seeing what we're doing. I mean, we have lights on site, but it's not the same as daylight. So we have to make sure we have all our color considerations taken care of. The repair in 1990 lasted 10 years, and we are essentially using a similar formula to that and hopefully hoping for the same life lifespan for the repair.